and we're back all right guys so i did change the formation i will show you that later on for the next game right now we're going to stick with this formation that we had last uh last game and uh, we are in the europa league it's still the group stages but we're already through we're going through so we might as well use a weaker side which is what i'm gonna do so let me swap out like is that all right so this is the team that i'm gonna use i mean our next game is against spurs in that game we have to win if we lose to spurs oh no and good evening to you from this beautifully appointed stadium the home of arsenal here in north london my name is derek ray and joining me in the commentary position is the former arsenal and england fullback lee dixon and we've got europa league group stage action to look forward to this evening it's arsenal facing braga yeah, Derek, thanks. You can't really go on and win tournaments unless you're consistent in the group stages. Very important you don't drop points. Looking forward to this one. And using his strength to shield the ball. And he takes on the shot. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here it is again. One phrase springs to mind, tiki-taka. How good is this? The opposition can get nowhere near them. It's a great team goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. Decisive pass. Well, they get themselves level here. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Decisive pass. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. <laughs> well, all the players have bought into the coach's vision of how to win the ball back high up the pitch. Pressing football like this is a joy to watch for me, Derek. A really sumptuous ball, and he's found a bit of daylight. And look at that, a goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do, and on this occasion he does, and he scores. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stuff. EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Arsenal facing Spurs. To take the lead. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. Oh. 
All right, guys. We won that game, but the only reason we won was because of my goalkeeper, Ryan. Oh, aim God. Okay, um, yeah, that, that guy, man, that guy is a beast. The amount of shots he saved was incredible. I mean, I had some good chances as well to make it even more, but they had a little bit more. As you can see, they had six shots, six on target, so their accuracy was on point. Mine, I uh, had nine shots, but only four on target, so we need to work on that. But man, ooh, if it wasn't for Ryan, oh man, this game would have been done. All right, let's see his ratings. Uh, how did he? How did he get a six point seven? Matt Ryan was a beast. Oh my gosh, let me see. Um, it says he only did three saves, but those saves were crucial. Right, let me see if I can show you one at least. Uh, uh, let's see. It only shows this one. Oh, yeah, this one's the 90th minute. Look at this. Oh, man. That, those go in. In the 90th minute, those go in. Oh, man. It only showed that one, but... He did another another great save. Oh man, yeah, he was man of the match for me. It was uh, Matt Ryan. All right, let's move on to the next game against Spurs. Oh no! All right, guys, we got a match against Spurs. They are second in the league. Yeah, that's that's right. You heard me correctly. They're second. Oh my gosh, they have a strong team. I am not gonna lie. Every career mode. Spurs are always one of those teams that you just can't beat. They're just so tough. Oh, man. Uh, I did change my formation to a 4-3-3 uh, with a CDM. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to test this out, and hopefully uh, it works. Or, or at least we don't get smacked too much. All right, here we go. All right, let's get this Darby on the road, baby. Yeah, all right, here we go. Delighted to be able to report that the weather has cooperated here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray. John We're playing at home, so we need to win. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek. Good atmosphere here. Everybody looking forward to what should be a really entertaining game. They got Sonaldo. Oh, man. Playing with such confidence. Really Alright, here we go, guys. Oh, man, I'm getting nervous. Oh. I'm telling you, man, Spurs are always one of those teams that, that, you know, they're hard to beat for some reason. I mean, I know they got a good squad, but still. And the game begins. Here we go. Alright, Odegaard. I got Ceballos. Danny Ceballos plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. Right, and go. leading the attack today is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Odegaard. Odegaard. Oh! <laughs> we always have a good start, but it always ends terrible for us, man. Oh, man. I hope it's not like the Man City or the... What's the last game we played against? Yeah, Chelsea, man. Uh, we had a good start, but then we get bad. Look at that. Odegaard, a beast, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Uh, what's it called again? Near post OP. There we go. Yep. Near post, man. Always, always, always. Yeah, four goals. Nice. There right, you go. The opening goal of the game, then. Okay, that's a good start. Let's keep it. Oh man, they're passing. Come on, David. Come on. Oh, oh no. I'm telling you, man. Oh, it's not looking good. I'm starting to get flashbacks. Oh. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do it just. 
notice how patient they were in the build-up. And it's a dream of a strike. Lovely language style. What a goal. Look, it went right through my legs, man. What the heck? Come on, Tierney. Mmm. Yeah, we can't have that. Alright, let's go. Right, Luis. Scare Luis. Ah, oh, no. There you go. We still got the ball. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Oh, Bamiang, shoot. Yeah! Oh, get in there. <laughs> get in there. We got some Max Spurs, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We can't lose to Spurs. There's one team we can't lose to. It's Spurs, man. That. Oh. Yeah. Martinelli was the assist. I thought that touch was too. You know, it was a bad touch, but I thought the goalkeeper was gonna get there, but luckily he did. Oh man, that was pure luck right there. Oh. I bet my ain't showing his quality, man. I'm telling you. There we go. Yeah, seven goals. That's what I'm talking about. Get those goals, babe. So back underway and awaken their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're oh, really oh, causing... Oh, 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 Ceballos. Yo, he dancing. He dancing. Oh! <laughs> Ceballos is just dancing, baby. Oh! <laughs> Look at this man, he's just going, oof. Oof. Oh man. Near post OP. Oh, he was dancing. Uh, yeah, they're dancing back there too. Yeah. Danny Ceballos, man, that's what I'm talking about. Goals Two goals real quick, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Bama, hey, man, he is a center back at heart, yo. Holy crap. Alright, right, guys, we are winning 3-1 to one against Spurs, so let's not get too happy because last time I was leading, I got smacked. So, so far, we're playing actually pretty well. Uh, they do have more possession. They like to keep the ball. We're giving them the ball, but we're the ones scoring the goals here. The first goal was a quick and nice goal. We always have a nice start, quick start for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, they scored after that. And then we just scored two rapid fires. I mean, that goal from Danny Ceballos. Oh, man. He was dancing around their defenders. He made them look like schoolboys, man. Oh, that was nice. All right, let's get into it. Second half, baby. I know Spurs are going to apply the pressure, so I got to get ready. The thing is, I don't know if I can handle the pressure. All right, Lucas. Come on, Tierney. Let him get around him. Oh, he's making me look like a fool. Kane. Oh. No. Oh, man. They scored real quick right after half, man. Oh. Harry Kane. Well, Derek, that tells you all you need to know. He's hugging Mourinho. Great team spirit, fantastic stuff. But he was already sacked. All right, here, well, you go. here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got horrible the defending. Oh, that was horrible, horrible the defending. Again, from a Look at angle. this. No, <laughs> no defender near him. Oh man, that's not good. Huh. Mourinho, you got sacked, man. Get out of here. 11 goals. Uh, man, he is a monster. Harry Kane, the Hurricane, man. He is a monster. Uh. Really Sonaldo. Oh, De Luis. Oh. Oh. Uh. Let's get him. Let's get it. How's Harry Wink stronger than Gabriel, man? That's bullcrap. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, good. Not opening up here. Abemiang. Ooh, took too long, man. Took too long to shoot. Oh. 
I was trying to finesse it, man. Oh, bear with you. Bear with you. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, we just got to pass it around, man. Oh, here we go. It opened up. Martinelli. Finish it, Martinelli. Yeah! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Finished it. We, we did it, guys. We're going to win. We're going to win the league. <laughs> uh, oh, look. They got twins back there. Oh. Oh, beautiful. My boy Tom's the train. My boy Martinelli. Link, you know. Uh, Larise, man. Could have done better. Oh, yeah, Mourinho. You like getting smacked? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm glad we're beating Spurs, man. Uh, if we'd lost, I would have been crying. Uh, Martinelli. Oh, the subs are coming in a little late, but you know what? That's okay. So the current scoreline, four 42. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right, all right. Here you go. Yeah, I was starting to get scared when Harry Kane scored that goal early on, man. I was like, oh, no. Again, I was getting flashbacks. Oh. Oh, David Luiz, what a beast. Oh, shoot, minutes. I lost it. Come on, party. Don't let Kane. There we go, good defended. Yes! Oh, yeah. It's almost like they've never made you won Derby, baby. The other Derby against Chelsea, we got our ass handed to us, man. But this one, we won this one at least. All right, guys, the game ended 4-2. This game was pretty intense. I mean, it's closer than it looks, to be honest. Uh, yes, we had five, five shots and five on target, which is what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Spurs could have easily scored uh, another goal, so it was a pretty tight match. But, you know what? We won. We beat Spurs. We won the Derby. Let's rub it in. Yeah. All right, let's go into the next game again. All right, guys, we got a game against Brighton, so we got to smack him, too. We want to win these games. These are these little games. I mean, yeah, when I say little games, I mean, like, you know, weaker sides. No offense to Brighton. I mean, I respect them, but still, we, we got to smack you, guys. I mean... Yeah, so we got to get three points from Brighton and then, uh, yeah, move up the table because we are not doing so well. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm using my weaker side. Which, uh, yeah, all right, let's go. And hello from one of the new venues in English football, the Thank Amex you. Stadium Thank on the South Coast. Nice. I'm Derek Ray, joined, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And very much Brighton. looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against Arsenal. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Real pleasure to be here. Looking forward to this game. Players will be a bit nervous. I was always nervous at the start of games. It's important you get your first pass off to your colleague, maybe get a good tackle in, settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. Oh, great vision. He's in here. Still possibilities. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection, and there you go, in the back of the net. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. TV. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Leeds United. Yeah. Can't miss, surely. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. And 
And here it is again. It's a great team passing move to set up the chance. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. Well, the manager knows that's plan A sorted. Got themselves back into this. Now can they go again? Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Can he do it to take the lead? It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here's the replay, Derek. Wouldn't it be great to have a bit of skill named after you? The Maradona. The trick fooled everybody. And it's a cool finish to boot. Lovely goal. Teammate and support. Can he finish? And a goal! An end to end game, and they weren't behind for long. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And all he has to do is get anything on it for a simple goal in the end. Well, we all saw that equaliser coming, Derek, didn't we? And so did he. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. He must finish! The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing. And now they sense victory. Again, the through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc, but you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. A little bit more clinical in front of goal. Lacazette. Chances on. Well, this is definitely worth another look. Superb interplay, so slick. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Dunk. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Real chance. It has to be, surely. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, here it is again. Lovely disguise on the cross. The pullback catches out the defenders. And then from there, the keeper had little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. Well, all the day's frustrations are there for all to see. The coach needs to try and turn this around and quickly. You thought we were going to lose, didn't you? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Don't let the scoreline fool you, man. They didn't deserve any goals, man. That was bullshit, man. Oh, man. Look at this. 11 shots, 11 on target. That goalkeeper they had, I don't know what his name is, but he was a monster. First half, he was 
a new man. He was a monster. He was a G. He blocked pretty much every single shot except, uh, you know, the one goal that we scored in first half. Second half came. Oh, man. When they scored, and then they scored again. Oh, I was having nightmares. I was having nightmares, and I, I, I didn't have I didn't have any of that. Nope. I, I paused the game, did some subs, put a Bama Yang on, and I forgot who else. Uh, I think it was Martinelli. And, uh, yep. <clears throat> uh, the whole game changed. And we smacked them. We smacked them, and we smacked them, and we won 5-2. to two. But don't let the scoreline fool you again. It should have been 5-0 to us. Of course, oh, man, we were we were smashing. Smashing and grabbing. All right, uh, let's go on to the next game against Liverpool. All right, guys, we got you know, a home game against Liverpool. Liverpool are currently at the top of the table. They're in first place. They are the leaders. They are the champions right now. And, yeah, we need to smack them. We beat them uh, for the community shield, I think. But, you know what? This is the Prem. Everything changes in the Prem. So, let's go. And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium oh, in North Emirates London. Stadium. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal taking on Liverpool. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. All right, guys, we're, we have a huge game against Liverpool here. Oh, man. <clears throat> kind of nervous. All right. I'm always nervous. All right, let's go. Yeah, we beat Spurs, but, yeah, Spurs is nothing compared to Liverpool. They got power, attack power from every single side. And they got Van Dyke. They got the beast himself, Van Dyke. Here we go. Ceballos, Martinelli. Finish it. Oh, shoot. 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 Oh. I think it was handballed by Abama Yang there. Oh, man. That was a great start. But no goals. So that's not good. Uh, Bama Yang is stuck back there. Look at him. <laughs> he's getting yelled at by Allison. Oh, my God. You saw that. Oh, what a block by Holden. Dude, Liverpool are playing some crazy football. Oh my gosh. That's probably why they're in first place. Holy crap. Oh man. The first block was something, but oh man, they're, the passing is pretty good. Yeah, Firmino scoring. Well, here we see it again. Some lovely quality passing. Fluid as you like. But then there's plenty to do from there. So yeah, I don't know if it was a mistake putting holding instead of David Luiz there. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. Alright guys, let's go. Let's not, let's not quit just yet. Alright, here we go. It's only uh, it's only the start. Oh, that's not that's not a good start. Oh, he already, he's ready too. Oh, you kidding me, right? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, no. Oh, man. Leno. He knows that could have been the game right there. You can see his frustration as well. Yes, this is a this is gonna be a tough match. It's gonna be a rough night. Here we go. And tasked with taking it, Henderson. Oh man, I'm glad it's not a handball. Yes. An attack for a promise. Can he find the net? Oh that's crazy. I wasn't trying to do that, but you know what? Look at that. <laughs> Oh man, that was actually close. Oh crap. 
Al just randomly shooting oh, this. Derek, there's the life of a manager right there. Pure frustration. It's such a thankless job at times. Come on, Allison. Quit wasting time, man. Uh, Odegaard. Odegaard. Oh, Gomez got in the way there. Come on, Bamia. Make those runs. Make those runs. Make those runs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Rebound, baby. I want to yell, but my mic's going to break, so I'm not going to yell. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Rub it in those Liverpool fans back there. He won't want to see this again. Uh, I mean, that first shot was horrible, but you know what? We got the rebound. A chance to re you know, when I shot and the goalkeeper blocked, that was kind of like, ah, it's over. But then Odegaard pops up with a header. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, Club, you like that? that? Yeah, he likes that. All right, five goals in the prem. Right. Bro, we're back to being level. Uh, we want to win, though. Oh, 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 if that was his left foot, man. That was going in. Oh, shoot. Bellerin left a gap. All right, he's back. Uh, oh, Tiago. Come on, tackle Tiago, man. He's weak. Oh, what a ball. Bellerin. Come on. Mine is a beast. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, man. Oh. Firmino's tricky. He keeps doing those little tricks, man. He's a skiller. I ain't no skiller. All right. This is halftime so far. Uh, Yep. We're level 1-1. One, one. Odegaard could have had another goal, man. But, you know, Allison is a beast. Van Dijk is a beast. Gomez is kind of a beast. Liverpool. They're a beast. But you know what? We're also a beast. So let's go. Oh, they took Firmino out. Well. I'm glad. I'm glad they took Firmino out. Well. <laughs> He's like the best player. Come on, man. Where's Salah? I haven't seen Salah. Did he leave? Did he leave Liverpool or is he still there? Oh, don't know. Oh, he's still there. I see, I see him now. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, Danny Ceballos. Oh, dude, Ceballos got no pace, man. Look at this. Look how fast the defender came here. Yo, who is that? Gomez, man. He is fast. Oh, man. I was going to finesse it, but if I try to do that, uh, Gomez definitely would have blocked it. So, let's go. Martinelli. Oh, Allison. Come on, this uh, pressure. Team press. Oh, what a ball. Ball. Oh, I was about to screw myself there. Oh, man. That was crazy. Oh, man. That was one of the scariest moments ever. All right, let's go. Come on, Liverpool. Doing some subs. Oh, they got Fabinho win. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Hold it. Good. Come on. Go. Tackle. Clear. Oh, man. Clear. 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 Somebody get the clear the ball. Nobody wants to clear. Oh, holding. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Holding. Can't have that, man. Oh, Bamia making the run. Bamia. Oh, Martinelli. Oh, that was, that was crazy, that counter, though. Oh, man, this is intense. Come on, Bellerine. Bellerine. There you go. Family. Well, oh. oh, oh, man! If that had gone in, that would have been G. That would have been game. Oh man, that was beautiful. That was close, right? 
Oh, good tackle, Bellerine. Bellerin. Oh, man, this game is so freaking intense. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to draw. I want to win. All right, Mo Salah. I want somebody to get ahead to it. All right, good. Martinelli. Somebody make a run. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, no. Not what I wanted to do. Oh! Oof. Not what I had in mind. All right, let's go. So the corner played into the box. There you go. Here? Tackle him. Make a run. Origi. Well, just as well from clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. Oh, no. Well, they weren't to be separated in the end. Oh, man, that was a really a tight goal. match, man. What Liverpool, they, they are hard to beat, man. We were lucky to beat them in the Community yeah, Shield, man. Maybe a winner. Good game, though, wasn't it? It was a good game, but, man, it was well, tight. Asking questions. Martin Odegaard, All right, guys, the game ended 1-1. It was a draw. I feel like I should have won. But the same time, Liverpool, you know, <laughs> they had chances too. But look at this, man. 12 shots, 8 on target. Oh, man. Odegaard committed 2-1 at halftime. But oh, Allison, he's just a beast. So, you know what? I'm glad we didn't get beat at least. You know, Liverpool, they are in first place. Yeah, we lost to Man City, who destroyed us 4. I think it was 4. 4 to something. 4 to 1. And then Chelsea destroy us 4-1 to as well. So, yeah. I'm glad we didn't get destroyed by Liverpool 4-1 to at least. Uh, yeah, so we'll get a revenge when we go to Enfield. All right, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. We are still in eighth place. Liverpool are still in first place. We did, you know, at least get a point out of that game. We beat Spurs who are in second. Chelsea, they're in third. They smacked us. Man City, they're in fourth. They also smacked us, but you know what? We're going to get a revenge. We always get revenge. That's that's our motto. Get revenge, all right? Uh, we don't forget and we don't forgive, all right? So, um, yeah, this, uh, these matches that we played, we won pretty much all of them except the last one against Liverpool. That was a real tight game. But the one that mattered the most was the one against Spurs, so I'm glad we won that one. Like I said, we're still in eighth place. Uh, we still need to climb it, at least get top four. I mean, I'm going to try to win the league, but yeah, we're 10 points away from that. I mean, look how far we are, man. The gap is huge, but you know what? We're going to claim it. So that'll be it for today. So if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.